Hello, this is a getting started video on Simulink and in this tutorial I'll show you how to create a model, how to drag and drop components in your model and then finally how to simulate your model. So let's get started. This is the MATLAB window and here you can either invoke the Simulink from here by clicking this option. Uh, here you can open an existing example or you can go to new and create a blank model. Another way you can open Simulink is by going into new and then Simulink model. That's another way you can do. And the third way you can type in Simulink in your command window and then press enter. So these are three different ways how to open a uh, the Simulink from your MATLAB window. So now you can create a blank um, model from here. Click the blank model. Now this is your environment. This is your uh, space where you can uh, edit your model. You can create your model here. But to create your model, you need different components. Uh, and for that, you can go to the library browser here. You can open the library browser and here you can see there are different sections, different uh, toolboxes and at the moment we are only interested in uh, the Simulink blocks here. Okay, They are divided into different uh, sections, different sub-libraries. You can uh, put sources, sinks, continuous, commonly used blocks. So for this, uh, for this particular tutorial we can use continuous source uh, sync and sources okay so uh, in for this uh, first video I uh, will target uh, just a simple uh, model just to find the integral of a sine function to so find the integral of a sine function in this particular video and uh, that's Okay, this is the operation we are going to perform. So from the library browser, the first thing I am going to choose, the first thing I'm, uh, thing I'm going to drag here into this uh, editor window is the sign function. Okay, so uh, I, I'll go to sources and in the sources section, I'll find sign wave and I'll just drag and drop here. The next thing I'm going to add is the integral okay integral sign uh, integral uh, operator integration operator and uh, the here in the first case i uh, drag that from the library and drop and dropped it here uh, the next thing i'm going to add is the integrator but for the integrator i'll show you this that in addition to drag and drop there's another way you can right click and you can use this option add block to the model and when you click uh, you can see that it's been added to your model so and this is another way and uh, finally the third thing that i'm going to add here is the scope uh, the scope that can display uh, the, the signals the before integration and post integration these are the two signals that we want to view so for that we need a scope. So for the scope, I am going to introduce you to the third way how of adding a block to your Simulink model. Just double click somewhere and type in scope. Okay. So now you can see this is the scope at the top. I'll just click and it's been added. So uh, now I can connect these blocks and have a look uh, before connecting I'll just press the space bar uh, to zoom in to fit to this window and here you can see that you can see that the outward direction of this arrow means that the signal is the output and the in, uh, the, the arrow that is inward to this integral means that this is the input so you can connect 
this port to this port similarly you can connect this port to this port uh, that, that's fine but you cannot connect this port to this port like uh, they can be uh, connected uh, to a common signal uh, common output uh, like I can connect signal here and also here okay that means that this signal uh, travels into this block as well as uh, it, it gets there but this is not a valid uh, if there is no source here uh, connecting this guy here doesn't mean anything okay that's not a valid connection so we'll connect this source and after integration it will give us the output and it will be displayed here on the screen so uh, just a quick view we can use this run button here in run model and please note this stop time that uh, after 10 seconds the simulation will stop and you can double click to open the scope and here you can see that the simulation was run from 0 to 10 seconds that shows you the simulation time and this is the uh, waveform after integration that was a quick view how to uh, run your model and now I'm going to add uh, another signal I want to view this input here sine wave and the wave after integration I want to uh, combine these two and display on this code so uh, first here the uh, First, let me tell you about the properties. You can invoke the properties from this property inspector. One way, like you can change the magnitude, you can change the frequency here, the phase. You can do that. You can similarly change the scope parameters uh, here, like you can change the number of inputs to two. So now I can add. signal from here like this okay so now if I run I will get two signals okay so now we have uh, two signals here so one is the uh, input to the integrator and one is the output of the integrator right now let's confirm the operation is it is it the right operation uh, the waveform does it show the right operation and according to our knowledge of calculus the integral of the sign is negative cos but this guy is not at all a negative cos and the reason is it is starting from zero so we can go to the properties of this integrator and here we can set up the initial condition. So the initial condition according to um, the, the, according to the, the result that we are expecting is that if sine is 0 at, the, at time p equals to 0, sine is 0, at that time the output of the integrator should be minus 1. Okay because the output of this integration is negative negative cos okay that means that and let me show you another thing that you can annotate you can assign names to these uh, lines these signals you just double click and you'll see that the cursor is blinking and you can type in sign t similarly you can double click this line and name it cos negative cos t okay so now uh, we have uh, we have changed the initial condition to minus one so now if we run this simulation model you'll see that now the uh, input input signal is a sine wave and the uh, other signal the is a negative cause signal okay the 
output of the integrator is a negative cos signal and we, we can view the legend for, for more clarity that the uh, and, and you can see that the, the the name that we assign to these lines are displayed as legend here okay so if you if you change this legend to these are just uh, text okay if, if I just uh, name it input and turn it again okay so you'll see it's input here so you can you can change these names uh, whatever way you like oh okay so now you can revisit this uh, see like this okay one more thing you can also simulate your model from here you can use this run button to execute your model uh, one more time a uh, few of the properties of the scope you can set from here like you can instead of single uh, two plots on single axis you can uh, use a different layout and uh, you can put them on separate axis and if you want to go back just use the single block out of those options uh, similarly you can change the um, options like the figure background the axis you can change those colors to white if you want to um, export them for some report you can change the line color similarly you can also uh, change the line color line width and use apply similarly you can select the other uh, part uh, there are two uh, curves here so uh, let me now choose the sign and I can also change the color the width of the line again I'm going to apply and uh, here I'll rather choose a, a little darker color Let's see so that's much better okay so now uh, you can uh, copy to clipboard or you can uh, export uh, export these uh, figure th this figure or you can copy to clipboard and paste into your word file um, for in order to put them in a report so that's how you can play with this uh, graph now so uh, with that said uh, we are we have covered uh, some introductory details about creating a model uh, and then uh, editing some properties from the property inspector and then uh, simulating your uh, model and then you can uh, play with your scope you can uh, make it more attractive presentable form okay uh, see you in the ne next tutorial till then bye bye